Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here doing the monthly reading for our Capricorns for the month of December 2017. So we'll be starting with your theme of the month. We'll be getting a little bit more guidance from our angels, and then we're going to be focusing on health this particular month. So this is going to be just information for you that will be helpful for you to navigate your life with more ease and grace. That's the reason I do these readings for you, right? We've got the seven of air coming in as your theme for the month. The air cards are all about the head and the intellect, what's going on upstairs. And this is a little bit of a challenging card in that it's about plans that need to be revised. Sometimes it's poor timing, things are just not working out. It may be that you're bumping up against a wall around something and that is a redirection. And suggesting that you go a different way and so just be in that space of being open to it think about driving a bumper car when you run into something and you bounce off you don't get upset you think it's funny it's like oh you boom I rubbed into this and now I'm going in this other direction right so if you can use that in your life when you're bumping up against walls like oh boom I bumped up against a wall, guess I'm not going that way, right? Like, let's be lighter about it. Let's have more fun with this. And there's just more going on than you can see with your physical eyes. So you've got to really use your other sensations, your feelings, your intuition to really get a sense for what is happening, okay? Let's see what else we've got going for you for this month. Have you checked out my Feng Shui Fridays? I'm doing a quick Feng Shui tips on every Friday now. Oh my gosh, look at all the air. We've got air here, air, air. Um, lots of air going on for you. The Feng Shui Fridays are quick Feng Shui tips for you every Friday and they are a lot of fun. So if you haven't checked that out, there's a link below to watch that series of videos. We've got the eight of air coming in for you. So we had seven of air, now we've got eight. The eight of air is about feeling trapped. So it's kind of that sense um, and an illusion because it's never true, you're never trapped, but it's that sense or that illusion of being trapped, of feeling that way. And oftentimes that comes from just not having a lot of confidence in the direction that you're going or in yourself. That could be potentially it. And when we get in a space of fear, we also then don't take action. Oftentimes we get, when we're, we're afraid, we freeze, right? That's one of the, the common 3D type reactions is to freeze. And this time in consciousness, that is not going to work. You need to show up differently. You need to do things differently. So I would encourage you to take some sort of action. You don't have to have the whole thing figured out. Just lean in and take some sort of action towards this, right? You know, sometimes it's about making a decision. Sometimes it's about like, oh, let's look at the possibilities. Like, how can this shift or change? Rather than feeling like it can't, ask a better question. How can I shift this? How can I change this? And then we've got page of air coming in. Um, so another page of air and more challenging information. So this is, you know, we've got plans that need revision, the solution of feeling trapped, and then we've got some challenging information, some delays or changes in your plans. So again, they're letting you know, and this is a really great month for you to practice surrender. For you to practice going with the flow of whatever comes up for you because your chain your plans are your plans are going to get changed this month so let's just be on board with going wherever they go and sometimes people deliver information in a way that doesn't feel very good but in the end just know that everything that happens is happening for you okay there's gifts in it for you it's all happening for you and then we've got the release card. So Archangel Azrael coming in again for you. Not again, I guess Azrael was coming in with the Sagittarius. I apologize for that. Archangel Azrael came in with the Sagittarius. So if you're a cusper, you've, Archangel Azrael has been here for you if you've watched the other reading. This is the release card. Again, the end of a phase or a situation. So it really is about like 
this is ending and something new is beginning. So always when there's an ending, there's always going to be a new beginning. So let's, instead of focusing on what is ending, what is concluding, let's focus on the fresh start, the new beginning for you and for everyone else as well, right? And this is a sign for you, a really clear sign that it's time to move on. This relates to your spiritual transformation. So you need to move on to continue on your spiritual journey, right? Getting some deep stuff in these monthly readings. Normally more deep stuff usually just comes in the deep dive reading, but oh, we're getting a little more here. All right. We've got, so this is related to your health, some ideas and guidance for you related to your health. We've got hydration. So you need to be drinking more water. This is a beautiful way that allows and helps your body to move and process things through it, right? To be able to move energy through your body. The water really, really helps. So lots and lots of water is what is needed. Tea is not water. Pop is not water. Soda is not water, right? Water is water. So let's get ourselves hydrated this month. And then we've also got the stretch cards. So they're also wanting you to move your body, stretch your body. You know, you can stretch doing any type of stretches. You can do yoga, you can do Pilates. There's lots of different ways to stretch and move your body and they're really encouraging you to do that now. Because again, that helps you release any energy that is stuck within your body. When you move your body, it's helpful. We've got do more research. So something related to your health, and this could be physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual health. They're letting you know that to do a little bit more digging around this. And what I always do with this is follow the guidance. So if you're guided to go on, on Facebook and you see a, some, something, an article or something like that, that's typically you're meant to read it, right? So follow the breadcrumbs as to what you're meant to research and gather the information that you need to be able to make a decision about this. Okay, that is your December reading, Capricorn. Stay tuned for the next video that will give you quick feng shui tips for bells. Much love to you. Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here doing your quick feng shui tip for this month. And this month we're going to be talking about bells. So I have a little bell here with me, and bells are really great energy. We use them in feng shui for a number of different things. One of the things that they do, of course, is represent movement because they do move, they make noise, and they make movement, right? And then the other thing that they have is sort of this calling or attraction energy to them. And so we can use bells in a number of different ways in feng shui. Today I'm going to give you just one quick tip on how you can use bells to attract energy to you. So what we are going to share with you today is about using bells at your front door. You'll see this oftentimes in restaurants where they might have a little bell over the doorway, particularly in Chinese restaurants, right? They have a little bell over the doorway and it's that attraction energy. And so you also can, and especially at this time of year in the holiday season, it's always fun to have a bell on your door in the season. So you can use a brass bell like this. I'm getting that out of the camera. Sorry about that. You can use a brass bell like this or you can use any other type of bell. And hanging that on your front door will attract more energy to you. It will attract more opportunities and potentially more abundance along with those opportunities. So that's my quick feng shui tip for this month. Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji and I'm spreading the love for the holiday season. 
I have a super special for my angel reading gift certificates for the holidays. So this will be good between now and December 26. I'm actually going to give you to the day after Christmas to take advantage of this special. And the coupon code is going to be love. I wore the love shirt so that you could easily remember that is going to be the coupon code. I'll put the link below. And again, you can purchase gift certificates for yourself or other people. They are good for 30 or 60 minute sessions with me. And you can, I'm not putting any limit on the number that you can purchase of them so you can feel free to stock up right for yourself or for other people in your life and it really does make a great gift to be able to give someone guidance for the holidays and that sense of calm and reassurance and that connection with their angels and guides if they have loved ones that have transitioned this is a great time of year to offer a gift certificate to them for connecting with their loved ones right because we all love to feel that connection with our loved ones over the holidays and it's a beautiful gift to be able to give so that is my angel reading special for gift certificates and then i'm also offering a really fast shift for feng shui and this is my fast floor plan analysis and it is typically 197 i'm offering it for 147 through the end of december so this one will actually go through the end of the month and you can schedule the appointment out further so it's it's flexible in that anytime that you book it in the month of December is fine, then you can actually schedule the appointment out into the new year because I know the holidays are a little bit crazy. So if you're interested in really learning what your Bagua looks like on your home, learning the things that you can do to shift the energy in your space, this is a really quick consult to be able to do that. So it's not my, my higher level one that I did before, but it is a uh, quicker consult for the feng shui and for people that are just like curious maybe they don't you know aren't ready to invest in a full consultation this is perfect and it also makes a wonderful gift as well so if you have any interest in that we have the the links below and i look forward to working with you whether it be an angel reading feng shui or coaching i love 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 to be of service oh forgot to tell you the code for the feng shui is fast F-A-S-T. And again, that the links are below. The code for the angel reading certificates is love. And the code for the fast feng shui floor plan analysis is fast. So I'm making them very simple words for you to remember. I hope that this holiday season brings you so much joy and love and light and peace. And that you move into this new year with a sense of purpose and a sense of knowing what your journey is, what your path is, and what you're meant to be doing. Love you so much.